Good day, everyone. Today, we will be discussing specialized structures in plants. Together, let's make learning science fun and easy. Plants, like animals, live on land and in water. Plants that live on land are called terrestrial plants, while those that live in water are called aquatic plants. They exist in different kinds and sizes. Plants are food makers and are fed by some animals. Name of plants Rose Stem with thorns Roots Thin fiber-like or fibrous roots Leaves Small oval-shaped with ser serrated edges Flower Soft, smooth, and multiple sets of petals. Santan Small, rounded form. Roots Top root. Leaves Green, leathery, glossy, oval-shaped. Flower Tubular and bloom in dense, rounded clusters. Orchids Stem Expanded stems. Roots Aerial root Leaves Thick and leathery strap leaves Flower Small, colorful flowers with three petals and three sepals What are the structures common among these plants? They are common about their flowers as they produce multiple vibrant flowers. What are the structures that are not similar to each other? They differ in their kind of stem, type of roots, and shape of leaves. How do these structures help the plants to survive in their environment? The structure of every plant helps them to survive. The roots get nutrients from the soil. The stem support the leaves. The leaves provide food and air. They turn light energy into foods. Plants that grow on land are called terrestrial plants. There are big and small plants. There are plants that have woody trunk while others have soft stem. Other plants bear flowers and some do not. Shapes and sizes of the leaves are also important. Plants like bananas have big, broad leaves to efficiently energy from the sun. Plants have also waxy leaves to prevent them from dehydration as a result of too much exposure to the sun. The roots of the plants also play a big role for survival. They have also different shapes and sizes. These characteristics are always based on the purpose. Let's do this. Study the two pictures. Describe these two plants by completing the table below. Name of plants Water lily Stem Thick, fleshy, creeping underwater stem that are buried in the mud. Roots Tuberous root system that must be submerged underwater. Leaves Rounded, waxy coated leaves. Flower Cup like flower with numerous petals. Water cabbage or water lettuce Stem The stem is almost non-existent. 
seems to grow directly from the roots. Roots Roots numerous and feathery. Leaves Leaves often spongy near the base. Flower Flowers are not clearly visible clustered on small fleshy stalks. Let's do this! Based on the given plant pictures, identify the specialized structure and their possible use. Plant name Rose Specialized structure Roses can come with us many as 60 petals overlapping and layered on each flower head. Rose is used for the preparation of various lotions, creams, beauty soaps, and aromatherapy oil. Plant name, Water Lily. Water Lily have thick and waxy coated leaves. Water lily can be converted into charcoal briquettes, ideal for household cooking and grilling. Plant name, cactus. Specialized structure. Stem in cactus are thicker than other plants, hence it can store water in stems. Some species of cactus utilize for their medical value and as a source of food. Plant name, onions, specialized structure, underground bud with membranous or fleshy overlapping leaves arising from a short stem. Onion contains chemical that seems to reduce swelling and reduce levels of cholesterol and sugar in the blood. Plant name, sweet potatoes, specialized structure. The edible part is the much and large tuberous root, varying shapes from fu fusiform to oblong or pointed oval. Sweet potatoes can lower the bad cholesterol, which may lower the odds of heart problems. Plant name Strawberry Specialized structure Strawberry plant has a short, thickened stem which has a growing point at the upper end. Strawberries is eaten and used to make medicine. Plant also have specialized structures in order to adapt well in their environment. Specialized structures are unique parts of the plants that serve special functions for them to live longer despite of the condition. Let's do this! Do the activity below using available materials at home. Grow a plant in a pot or available area. Answer the guide questions below. What are the changes that you observe in the plants? I planted a mongo seed. The first day is just a seed. The next day, it forms its roots. On the third day, it formed its stem. On the fourth day, the stem gets longer and on the fifth day, it shows leaves. Draw your favorite structure of the plant. What makes this structure important? I drew a root. The root is the most important structure of the plant because it anchors the plants, absorb water and mineral from the soil, and they store food. Let's do this. Write a two-sentence reflection on specialized structure in plants.
I understand that a plant has different structures and parts that help them survive the environment. Plants differ in sizes, shapes of the leaves, types of roots, and some plants bear flowers, and some do not. I realized that a plant may differ in its structures and characteristics. They also have use for animals and use us humans. Some of the plants serve us our food and materials in making other products. Thank you for watching. Till our next science lesson. Goodbye.